Hello everyone, it's Rain here with Audio Plugin Deals and today we are looking at UJAM's Mellow. It's a virtual bassist for an upright acoustic and we're going to get right into looking at the player and sound design features. So just before we do, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications so that you can always know as soon as one of these great deals goes live. Now let's get into it. So that was a little demo track that I made using Mellow and trying to showcase it right at the center. Now to just quickly walk you through how to you know, make these bass lines and, and what this plugin is actually capable of doing, I'm um, just going to show you some of the features. So as you can see at the top here, there's two modes, player and instrument. So instrument is the most basic sort of using it, well, just as an instrument to sort of plug in notes, go ahead and play. And uh, so you just select exactly what notes you want. And then the lower registers, or well, the octave from Z0, C0 can be used for articulations, legatos, dead notes, as you can see here. So what that would look like is just in your piano roll, you just put in something at C0, underneath your actual notes playing and it will define the articulation and then player mode is where it sort of writes the bass lines for you so in player mode you simply put in the chord progression and it will come up with bass lines based on the templates you select so i've selected the bossa nova one um, and you can choose between common phrases again now using the lower registers to select uh, and rather than articulations entire phrases or fills and so if we look at my midi information here can see that here under this C that's determining the actual note and chord played we have C2 and then a jump to E flat 2 determining the different phrases used in this intro and you get meanwhile if I took out the second note So I added a little bit of um, extra variation to that progression with this extra note. And this is the, the full progression I came up with, which is very basic, but just trying to utilize some of these basic features of player mode and the phrase switching. And so it's a very basic chord progression, just a uh, one, six, four, five in a minor key. But the two little things I did was I added this little chromatic passing note. And I also defined the five as a major five rather than a minor five. And, you know, it interprets that in the player mode key select. So you can, if you look at the play range here, interprets the chords. And we can see that's different if I remove this B.
And so you can hear that that one little note in that final cadence is different. Uh, and to me, the major chord had the more satisfying leading. So even though within the player mode is based around diatonic key signatures and playing uh, bass lines that fit within the key that you select, um, it will respond to you wanting to add variation to the chords. So if you are writing complex jazz progressions with chromatic notes, it can adapt. So really the player mode is a great way to quickly come up with quite inspiring bass lines. If you just want to really quickly smash something out or you want to use it as the basis for some inspiration and then shape it yourself, you can do that. Um, and maybe you could even use two channels, a combination of player and instrument, use the player to sort of come up with the basis of something and quickly lay out the skeleton of a song. And then if in certain places you want to have a more precise bass line, you can use the instrument. Now, uh, as we look at the other settings, we're changing the character of the sound. So position would be sort of the mic position. And I'm just going to loop a segment of it uh, so you can hear how we're affecting the sound. So you can hear the bridge uh, it's affecting that a little bit. And we have a more mellow sound with mic at neck position. And then character the similar things, that's sort of the way that the virtual bassist would be playing it. Are they playing softly? Are they playing really sharp, tight notes? So you can select between with the character. The mic uh, would be sort of selecting what type of mic would be used. And then the room, how much sound of the room you're capturing. It's a little bit, um, it's sort of reverb, but it's also a bit more of a character. Thing. It's not just pure reverb, so you can listen. Very dry, very close. So it's sort of like reverb, but a bit of extra ambiance as well. Then we have an octave here. Um, we have drop D option, which I don't have on because I'm on player mode but uh and so it will affect the phrases done on player mode but if you are using instrument mode i can't really think of a reason you wouldn't turn drop d on because it just lets you access deeper notes uh and then you have a little bit of eq and stuff and the really interesting one is the finisher so this adds a sort of distortion or extra effect so i quite like this old radio one Go back to the beginning, you can hear it more fully. So it's like that old gramophone sound. It's basically like a filter, but I thought it was quite cool in the intro to have that peel away. Um, but you can select other characters of finisher as well. You can select bit crusher for really distorted. You can select other effects such as delay and chorus, or you could select a cathedral reverb. Pretty wild. And then obviously this dial is the amount. So if you wanted a lesser amount of reverb. Or a lot. So that's all there is to it really. So hopefully this instrument can inspire you to make some awesome new grooves. Don't forget to check out the deal on the Audio Plugin Deals website so you can get this at a discount. Um, and as I said at the beginning, turn on notifications so that you can be alive to whenever this kind of deal comes around. That's all for me for now. Until next time.